All right, here's a trap out I'm going to set up today in this tree. I'm in Lakeland, Florida. And uh, here they are, coming out of this, this hole right here in the tree. <clears throat> Okay, I have everything set up. You can see there's bees already attracted to my hive. I put uh, some supplies in there for them to perpetuate themselves, such as brood and eggs, you know, so they can raise a new queen if the uh, other one doesn't come out in time. We don't want a laying worker to develop, you know. So uh, anyway, I put some lemongrass oil on my box. Uh, attracts them, it mimics one of their pheromones. And uh, here's the trap cone. Here's one coming out. They haven't started piling out yet. They're a little bit shy. Sometimes that happens when you first set it up. But um, I sprayed some Honey Bee Gone, which is a natural almond oil repellent at the base of the trap cone so these ones flying around won't just land and stay there forever. Uh, they'll be up airborne and then smell my hive and go in there. Trying to see one coming out, but uh, again, there, I've only seen a couple so far. But that'll ramp up, believe me, over the next day or two. You know, thousands of them piling out of there. Like, there's one. go then they can't figure out how to get back in that's pretty much the gist of it you can see all of them flying around my box They'll get the memo. I know some of you think, hey, that hive's too far away, but no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I've done these hundreds of times. It's close enough. They're not stupid. It's just a matter of if, if making sure they don't get back in the tree. You know, that's the problem. So, all right. Thanks for watching.